Hi everyone, we are at our last step of our majestic mountain landscape. So this was my finished one that you all have seen in class. And this one is where you're going to be starting. Now you're going to notice, hey, wait a minute, I don't have this stuff in here. Well, I was doing my video earlier and my camera battery died, so I had to recharge and try again. So that's why you're seeing mine at a different place than yours. But let me explain. You're going to get three colors today, green, yellow, and brown. You're going to be using um, a regular brush and a fan brush. And I have two sizes. You'll get one or the other. You do have to share these, so everyone is not going to have one to begin. So set these aside. And I'm just going to go over what I did here, so you know. And I started with my green, and just like I, just like you did back here, you're dabbing. You want to make it look very random and uneven, because that's how things in nature appear. And then I can take some yellow and just put some dabs in there too. Not much at this point. All right, so that's how I got my foreground greenery. So I'm going to clean off my brush and set that aside because now I'm going to use, oh no, I am going to go back to use the, the regular brush, but I have cleaned it off and you're going to take some brown now. And I'm going to put a pine tree here, so I'm trying to paint a thin line of brown here and it goes right past the mountains and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and I'm going to try to make this one a little bit shorter. All right so now that's how I got to the place I'm at here. Now I clean this brush off completely and we're going to start. Um, you're probably going to go back and forth with the regular brush and the fan brush. So I'm going to start one tree here. I'm going to take brown. Now I know pine trees are not brown, but I'm going to cut, make a line out, a little line out. And I'm going to put just a little bit of brown on my fan brush. And I'm going to dab. And that's going to give a very uneven look and that's what you're going for. Now I'm going to kind of come out here, dab it out, dab it out. I'm going to come back with that brown and just make, and these are just uneven branches to the pine tree. And each time I go down I'm making my branches slightly wider now I could do this with a regular brush and just doing the dabs again. You just want to remember to keep it random. You don't want it to be perfect and you know a lot of straight lines. So now I'm going to go dab it out, dab it out, and fill it in with some random branches. Because if you look at a pine tree that's exactly how they are. They're not perfectly so. Now you're probably wondering about the green. Is my pine tree going to stay brown? Don't worry. We're going to get to the green in just a minute. And the fan brush, you don't want to have a lot of paint on it. Okay, so there's one done. Now I can go back with the green just a little bit and I'm going to go right on top of that, still with that dabbing motion. To show that that pine tree is actually green. Oh, I forgot to go up at the top. Now the reason why I started with the regular brush at the top, um, it's kind of hard to get an even line with the fan brush. And I wanted that to be nice and pointy at the top. Okay, perfect. Now, I can <clears throat> go here, and that also helps to make it look very random. 
Okay. Oops, I forgot a spot here. All right. So now I'm going to move it over and I'm going to start this one. So let's just see. Now, again, I'm going to go with the brown and let's see what it looks like. Okay. It is hard to get that top one really small, but you can give it a try if you want. And remember, you're just kind of going out little by little, gradually getting those branches wider. And working with a fan brush just makes it a little bit easier. But like I said earlier, you can do it with a regular brush. After all, we did do it with a regular brush last year. Now, I'm sure someone is patiently waiting to use the fan brush, so make sure you pass it on. And I'm just going to come down here with a little even put a little brown in it to make that random edge. And voila, you're done. So I can't wait to see yours all finished up. I'm sure they're going to be fantastic.